हेलो टू ऑल माई स्टोरी लवर्स वेलकम बैक इन स्टोरी टाइम चैनल टूडे स्टोरी नेम इज लेजी पोटैडो रिटर्न बाय द ग्रेट सुधा मूर्ति नाउ लेट्स गो टू द स्टोरी पोटैडो वॉज यंग ब्राइट हैंडसम एंड स्वीट बॉय फ्रॉम गोवा वी वेर इन बी वी बी college of engineering at hubli he had been my classmate and lab partner throughout our course so i knew him fairly well potato had peculiar habits though he was intelligent he was extremely lazy our theory classes were from 8 in the morning till noon and lab was from 2 to 5 in the afternoon potato never came for the first class at 8 occasionally he turn up for the second or third hour but most of the time he only show up for the last hour he never miss our lab sessions however in those days attendance was not compulsory in college and our teachers were lenient they requested potato to come on time but since there was no internal assessment they couldn't really exercise their authority one day i asked potato why are you always late what do you do at home he laughed and said i have a lot of things to do I am so busy in the evenings that I can't get up before 9 in the morning. What things keep you so busy? I ask him. Innocently, I meet my friends at night. We have long chats followed by dinner. You know it takes lot of time to build friendships. You will not understand. You people are all nerds. you only come to college to study potato you are a student you should study get knowledge learn skills and work hard is that not important oh please you remind me of my mother don't give me a sermon life is long we have plenty of time we should not learn anything in a hurry we shouldn't be so stingy about time either then i noticed that he did not even have a watch since for obvious reasons he had no need for it potato continued in life you need connections and networking that can give you success you can't network in a day you have to spend time and money on building a network who knows some people that i meet now may make it a big tomorrow and then that connection will work for me i was young girl from a middle class and academic minded family i believe only in hard work i never understood how networking could help during our college breaks potato proudly told us about his childhood oh When I was young I spent my time in big cities like Bombay Delhi and Calcutta in Calcutta there are so many clubs it is a matter of prestige to be a member of a club when i start working i want to be a member of all the good clubs in the city every now and then potato felt that hubli was a small and boring town so he regularly went to the belgaum to meet his friends and network with them during exams potato worked like a donkey he glass traced most of my original drawing so that he did not have to think about the solution to engineering problems himself his glass traced drawings were definitely better than the originals because they were neater and there were no wrinkles or pencil marks 
he always got more than me in drawings he even kept the question papers for previous years and made his own question papers by the process of elimination instead of reading textbooks he read guides to pass the exam with all this he always managed to pass in second class once the examiner caught him because in a survey drawing he told the examiner that the mark on his drawing was actually the big tree in the middle of road it was survey of town near dharwad unfortunately the examiner happened to be from that town and he knew that there was no tree on that road he questioned potato who said with a serious face sir i have done the survey myself i sat below the tree and had my lunch and then i continued calmly the examiner said i can't see this tree in any of your classmates original drawings this is only a mosquito between the glass and the drawing that you have tried to cover up potato just managed to pass the exams that year but he was not perturbed he said i am not scared of the exams or the marks today's nerds will be tomorrow's mid level managers a person with good networking will be their boss because of his attitude and undisciplined habits even the college hostel refused to keep him so he rented a small house near college and lived there like a king once our class planned a picnic trip to belgao since poldado was familiar with the city he decided to take his opinion and help the picnic committee members including myself went to his house around 11 on a sunday morning we all assumed that poldado would be awake but to our surprise he was still in bed when he opened the door he said sleepily oh why you have come so early on a sunday he was quite annoyed to see us well i am awake now so please come in we went in but there was absolutely no place to sit his clothes were all over the room and newspapers were scattered on the floor in the kitchen the dirty dishes were piled up in the sink and they were stinking there were fish bones everywhere there was also a cat and a dog inside the house they were well fed with potatoes leftovers the windows were not open either the bed sheets looked like it had not been changed for a year i did not have the courage to go see his bathroom potato felt neither perturbed nor guilty he said make some space for yourself and sit down some people moved potatoes under garments and made some space but i could not do that because i was girl so i simply stood potato brought a stool for me from his kitchen it was very sticky i was even more hesitant to sit on it than on his clothes i told him it is better that i stand potato offer us tea but none of us had the guts to drink any when i asked him about planning the details of the picnic he said we can start at 12 in the afternoon my friend owns a lodge so i can take you there the next day we can go to amboli falls then we can also go to goa potato made a 10 day program but most of us could not afford a 10 day accommodation in a hotel nor could we skip class for so many days so the plan fizzled out we thank him and left when i turned back and look potato had closed the door and had probably gone back to bed soon the final year came around we all passed the examination and parted ways some of us felt sad because we had become a big family in the last 4 years together we did not know our destination and knew that we may not meet again of course as potato said goodbye he told us if you are ever in goa please come to my house 
but I seriously doubted that I would ever run into him again. Many decades pass. Once I went to Dubai to give a lecture. After the lecture, people came up to talk to me, but there was one person who waited until everybody had left. Then he walked over and where I was sitting, I smiled. I recognized the smile, but I did not remember where I had seen him. The man was black, fat and had a big punch and was dressed very ordinarily. I thought that he might be a mid-level manager in a construction company. I meet many people in my field and it is difficult to remember everybody. I asked him, what can I do for you, sir? Are you waiting for me? With a crack voice, he said, yes, I have been waiting for you for a long time. Oh, I am sorry, I didn't know that you were waiting. Do you have any work with me? I said, yes, I just wanted to tell you that you were right and I was wrong. I was puzzled. What did he mean? I had never even met him before. I hardly came to Dubai since we did not even have an office there. I didn't get your name, sir. May I know your name, please? I asked. His laugh was bittersweet. He said, I am Portado, your classmate. I was very happy to see him and shook his hand. Oh, Portado, I am seeing you after 35 years. It has been so long that I didn't recognize you. Physically, both of us have changed so much. It is nice to meet you. Stay back. If you are here, come for dinner tonight. I want to catch up, I said. Sadly, Portado said, sorry, I don't have much time. I am in the right shift, but I can have a cup of tea with you. We went to the hotel restaurant and I ordered a cup of tea for him and juice for myself. I wanted to talk more. I started the conversation with great enthusiasm and could not hold my questions back. Portado, where are you working now? How long have you been in Dubai? Are you married? How many children do you have? By the way, now, how are your networking friends? Do you ever come to India? Potato, stop me. I know your work involves computers, but mine does not. You are too fast for me, just like a computer, but I am in construction. So bear with me since I am slow. I have been in Dubai for last five years. Before that, I was in India in several small places in different companies. Of course, I am married. I have two daughters. I interrupted him. You could have bought them today. I would have liked to meet them. Sorry, I can't bring them because they are not here. I am in a lower level of management. So I cannot afford to bring my family here. My two daughters are studying in India and are doing engineering. I can't even afford their education in this place. I did not know what to say. I had never imagined Portado would end up like this. Now it was his turn to talk. Do you remember when I was in college, I used to make fun of all of you. I spent all my time in networking. After I finished engineering, I didn't get a good job. The reason was very obvious. I did not have the knowledge or ability to work hard. I looked down the two qualities that are the stepping stones to success. I knew that I wanted to go up and reach top spot in a company, but no one can just fly there. I knew what position I should be in, but I did not know the route. I thought that the change of job will help, but instead it reduced my value in the market. None of my networking friends helped me. They dropped me like a hot potato. They thought that I was clinging on to them like a parasite. Some of them were like me also looking for jobs. I always thought that I would come up with someone's help. I never thought 
that I should take my own help. Now I am old. I am trying to learn new things and make up for lost time. But it is not easy. The market has become extremely competitive. Youngsters in college have more knowledge and quickness. They also have time on their side. I have told my daughters you should study, get knowledge, learn skills and work hard. Potato continued. Do you remember who said this to me? I was. It was you. He looked at his watch and said, my time is up. I must leave. I wish him all the best. He walked a few steps, then come back and said, That day I call you nerd. Today I call you smart. And he left. This is the end of the story. Do you like it? Then comment it and subscribe our channel. Bye-bye.